section B, 17th question A. Name the device which utilizes unilateral action of a PN diode to convert AC into DC. B. Draw the circuit diagram of full wave rectifier. This which utilizes utilateral action of a PN diode to convert AC into DC. So a device which converts AC into DC is rectifier. So A is rectifier that is already given in second part itself. And the process is known as rectification. This is not uh, asked, but it is just for clarification. Now the second part is you have to draw diagram for full wave rectifier. So full wave rectifier. So this is the input AC. Here is the transformer. This is the secondary. Then here you will have one diode D1 and here we will put another diode D2. Then we have to with connect a tapping here with a load resistance. Output will be here around, across the load resistance and connected to this. So when this term is positive and this is negative, that time the diode D1 will be forward bias and D2 will get reverse bias. So the current will be obtained along this axis. So this will be the direction of the current. When this becomes positive and this becomes negative, this time this will get reverse bias and this diode will get forward bias and it will conduct. And so this time the current will also obtain like this. So in both the cases, the current in the output is getting in the same direction, whereas the input it is in the opposite direction. So here the full wave is being rectified. That's why the name is given full wave rectifier. Here you are not supposed to explain because only to draw the circuit diagram is given. So ask, so you have to draw only circuit diagram and you need not to uh, explain. I have explained you just for the sake of exam. Otherwise you have to draw only the diagram. 18th, the wavelength lambda of photon and de Broglie wavelength of an electron of mass m have the same value. Show that the energy of the photon is 2 lambda mc upon h times the kinetic energy of the electron where c and h have their usual meaning. c is basically velocity of light and h is Planck's constant. So here it is given lambda d probably is equal to wavelength of the photon pH that is equal to lambda it is given. Now the uh, you have to prove the energy of the photon equals to 2 mc 2 lambda mc upon h that's why I told you that keep the hard copy with you so that you will be able to see that as I am looking with the hard copy so similarly you will be uh, having the hard copy to be convenient to you so this is E into E so kinetic energy of the photon energy of the photon is always equal to kinetic energy of the electron times 2 lambda mc upon h so this we have to prove so for the Broglie wavelength of lambda, this electron that is h upon mv that is equals to lambda. So from here you can get the value of mv equals to h upon lambda. Also the kinetic energy of the electron is equals to half mv square. That you can simply say 1 by 2m it will be m square v square. So that we can replace mv from here. So that is equal to uh, 1 by 2m h by lambda square. Also we know that energy of the photon 
equals to H C by lambda. So if we try to find out E photon divided by E electron, then we will get H C by lambda upon H square upon 2m lambda square. So that will be equal to H C upon lambda into 2m lambda square upon h square this lambda will get cancelled by this h will cancel with 1 h so this e this will be equal to 2cm lambda upon h so e photon will be equal to 2 lambda mc upon h times e e that was the proof we have just proved it. Now 19th, a ray of monochromatic light passes through an equilateral triangle glass prism in such a way that the angle of incidence is equal to angle of emergence and each of these angles is three fourths of the angle of prism. Determine the angle of deviation and the reflective index of the glass prism. So here we have equilateral triangle, triangular prism. This is the A. So this will be 60 degree. A light is incident over here. So this is angle of incidence. This is angle of emergence. And this one is angle of deviation. You need not to draw the diagram, but it is always easier or convenient if you draw a rough sketch over there in case of the numerical. So here it is given angle I equals to angle E and that is equals to 3 fourth of the angle A. So here I will be equals to E will be equals to 3 fourth of 60. That means it's only 45. So I equals to E equals to 45 degree. Now we know this I plus E equals to A plus delta for angle of deviation. So this is 45 plus 45 equals to 60 plus delta. So this is 90 equals to 60 plus delta. So delta equals to 90 minus 60 that is 30 degree. Now, as far as the refractive index is concerned, mu equals to sine A plus delta by 2 divided by sine A by 2. So, this is sine A is 60, delta is 30 divided by 2 upon sine 60 by 2. So, this is sine 45 upon sin 30 that is 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by 2 so mu equals to 2 divided by root 2 that is root 2 that is 1.41 so you can say delta equals to 30 degree and mu equals to 1.4 so this is the answer of 19th question